Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the NBA Eastern Conference and my standing predictions for 2021. Let's examine. I think the 15 seed is the Orlando Magic with their guys with Evan Fournier, who's their superstar. You still know what Nikola Vucevic can do. He's an amazing center that can really do everything all around the court. Aaron Gordon, they're still hoping he can become their franchise player, but probably not. Cole Anthony has a chance to win Rookie of the Year. Jonathan Isaac, he's a great player. There are other young guys. Markel Fultz, he's trying to develop. 14 seed, I think, is the Detroit Pistons. They don't really show what direction they're going. It's kind of a weird direction because they still have Derrick Rose and Blake Griffin when they were trying to trade them. But, I mean, they have some good young talent in Killian Hayes, but they're trying to see if he is not a bust or if he is. I think they made the right decision in drafting him, but I don't know. They're just stuck in a weird position. 13 seed, I think, will be the Charlotte Hornets. Look, LaMelo Ball still needs some developing, but there are other guys that look very promising with Terry Rozier. Devontae Graham, Gordon Hayward, but they don't really have a center besides P.J. Washington. I mean, there's Bismack Biombo, but besides that, they don't really have a center. So that, I think, will hold them back. 12 seed, the New York Knicks, who just drafted Obi Toppin. That's not going to help them, though, because their best players right now are really R.J. Barrett. Mitchell Robinson gives the franchise a slither of hope, and I hope Dennis Smith Jr. can play well next year. And Julius Randle's still on the roster. He's probably their best player. But Julius Randle... And there are other guys, like Mitchell Robinson, will have to carry a big load on the team's shoulders. The 11 seed, I think, is the Cleveland Cavaliers. Their guys are a great young team. Andre Drummond, I feel, is their best player, who's a good big man. He can get you 15 rebounds a night, which is incredible. Kevin Love, Darius Garland, Isaac Okoro, Colin Sexton... Those guys are going to get you at least 15 points a night. So, I mean, it's nice to see that in Cleveland. The 10 seed, the Chicago Bulls. Yes, Zach Levine, Lowry, Markin, and finally become a team that will not be one of the worst. They'll just be not a playoff team. But Kobe White is going to have a breakout year. Their rookie, Patrick Williams, looks very promising. So their team looks like it's going to be a pretty good team but they just won't make the playoffs but i think in two to three years yes they can make the playoffs the nine seed washington wizards they have bradley beal and westbrook looks like a good washington wizards player but i mean i just can't see them going that high and this is why I had them at only nine seed in the Eastern Conference because the East is just really good this year, man. The eight seed, Indiana Pacers. Look, you have to give up on Victor Oladipo because this is not Victor Oladipo's team. This is DeMontis Sabonis' team. Victor Oladipo and Malcolm Brogdon bring some talent at the guard position. TJ Warren... And Jeremy Lamb are their forwards, so they're locked and loaded and set. But like I said, the East is just really good this year. They would be like a four seed in if it wasn't this year. The seven seed Toronto Raptors, I think it will be, with Pascal Siakam, the beast, putting up great stats. Then you got Fred Van Vliet, one of the best players in the NBA, and he's very underrated. He's great efficiency-wise. 
Kyle Lowry, you know what he can do. He's one of the best point guards in the NBA. He's super underrated, just like Van Vliet. And that's what's so special about this roster. The sixth seed, Philadelphia 76ers. You know, Joel Embiid still stayed there this offseason. Tobias Harris still stayed there. Uh, you know, Ben Simmons, like I said, again, still stayed there. Their roster hasn't changed a bit, and I think that is good. But they got some uh, other guys. They need to space the floor with shooters like Seth Curry and Danny Green. They trade for them. The five-seed Atlanta Hawks, yes, Atlanta finally gets a playoff spot. It was, that was a short and quick rebuild. Trey Young leading the way. They got Danilo Gallinari, Bogdan Bogdanovich over the offseason, John Collins, Clint Capella. This lo- roster is locked and loaded with talent. They're probably the best roster in the NBA right now depth-wise. For the Miami Heat, who slide up a spot this year. Look, the Heat are not going to be great in the regular season, just like last year. But they'll turn it up a notch in the playoffs with Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, Goran Dragic, Tyler Hero, Kendrick Nunn. This team is just so deep, just like the last team we talked about, the Hawks. They also have some other players that know how to contribute on a winning team. The three-seed Boston Celtics. Yes, Jason Tatum, Kimba Walker, Jalen Brown. All those guys get to be the three-seed this year just like they were last year. They have a great chance at making the Eastern Conference Finals. And honestly, I can see them doing it if they perform well in the playoffs and Kimba Walker doesn't disappear like he did last year. The two-seed Milwaukee Bucks, Giannis Antetokounmpo, I think will win a third-in-a-row MVP if the NBA wants to give it to him. I think Luka will win MVP, but this is a pretty safe pick for MVP. Chris Middleton, they got Drew Holiday over the offseason. Brooke Lopez still stayed there. So, I mean, they are really, really deep. This team, I think, will go pretty far. The one seed, Brooklyn Nets, yes. Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, Karis LeVert, Jared Allen, Spencer Dinwiddie. This team is so deep, and this is a reason why they will go to the NBA Finals. That is the ceiling I think this team will go, but I don't think they'll beat the Lakers or Clippers in the NBA Finals. But this team is very, very, very talented. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe, turn notifications on, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.